Hello, and welcome to this special edition of the Market Share. I'm Paul Gifford, Chief Investment Officer at First Source. Joining me is Delia Salazar, one of our trust officers. Delia, thanks for joining us for the first time. Uh, it's spring, so usually there's spring cleaning going on for families, yard work, that kind of stuff. It is also a great time to look at your finances. So why don't you talk about some important topics that they should be looking at? Absolutely. Well, Paul, estate planning is one of those topics that people tend to shy away from. It's not something that we want to think about, but it's something that we need to think about for the benefit of our loved ones. We don't want to leave them with the burden of finding our assets and then deciding what to do with them. There are many documents that can be involved in the estate planning process, but we highly recommend the three shown here. A will, a medical power of attorney, which names a person who can make medical decisions on your behalf, and a financial power of attorney, which names someone who can make financial decisions in the event that you become incapacitated. Many people don't realize that these are two different directives and you can name two different people for these. One of our main goals is to help advise our clients and to have them ask the proper questions when they meet with their attorney. If they don't have an attorney, we can point them in the direction of one who best suits their needs. If you've already done some estate planning, we highly recommend that you pull those documents out every three to five years because laws do change and you wanna make sure that your current situation still aligns with the directives that you've already set up. It's really important to make a list of all of your assets and we've highlighted a few of those assets right here. It's important to know where they are, which company is holding them, and who the current owners of those assets are. And we're not just talking about things like accounts, we're also talking about things like property and safe deposit boxes. A trust officer like myself can help you review that plan and get those titlings and accounts set up how you would like them to be. Well, Delia, that's great advice to get you started. And even though you get all of that done, there's a little bit more work that you have to do, particularly around beneficiaries and some other items. What might those be? Yes. Well, you want to make sure that your beneficiaries are the people that you would want them to be. And it's very simple to make changes or additions to those lists. Just contact your trust officer and we just require some basic information such as social security number, birth date, and address. We can also work with your private banker to add transfer or payable on death designations to your retail accounts, such as CDs and checking and savings. So clearly some great advice on estate and then the beneficiary designations and titling. There's usually one more step that most families don't take. What is that? Well, Paul, that's meeting with the entire family. Here at First Source, our mission is to help our clients achieve security, build wealth, and realize their dreams. And oftentimes that includes the entire family. We work to build relationships with the next generation to provide the most personalized care for their finances. It's also helpful for the families to put a name with a face and know that we're there to support them. We want to make it as easy as possible for our clients and their families to plan and save for the future. Delia. That's great information on estate planning beneficiaries and the importance of family meetings, and we know those are important for families to have. Thank you for being on the video for the first time. We really appreciate that. If you like today's content, I encourage you to share that with your friends and family. And if you do not regularly subscribe to the market share, I encourage you to do so with the QR code at the end of the video. And as always, thank you for the opportunity to serve you and your family, and have a great day.